really dominant performance by the Bills last night. Um, I don't think we need to discuss what happened with Jacksonville, but are the Bills the biggest challengers to the Chiefs and the AFC, Keyshawn? Uh, I would say that they're... I would say that they're right there because I still, for all that happened with the Ravens getting off to a slow start mm -hmm. and beating up on the Cowboys, uh, you know, and then looking at that situation, then I look at Pittsburgh's situation, obviously, defensively, they are what they always been, right? They can still kind of run the ball with Najee Harris and company, but then they, you insert Justin Fields into the lineup, and as he gets more and more comfortable, you got to only think he becomes more and more dangerous to teams in the AFC. The Bills are the team that we're looking at right now because of the quarterback of Josh Allen and what he did and what they did ultimately as a group against the Jacksonville Jaguars in front of all of our eyes on a Monday night. Mm -hmm. They took them to the woodshed, like you mentioned, and just beat them down and sent them packing back to Florida. And if you go back and you look at several years ago, Josh Allen had a performance in the playoffs at AFC Championship game against Kansas City, and it wasn't his fault that the defense surrendered to Tyreek Hill out the back gate, but many people do. Mm -hmm. And so you start looking at it and you say to yourself, you break it down, you say, well, who could really challenge Kansas City? You got Buffalo, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, and in a couple of weeks they play the New York Jets. So let's see what Buffalo and New York looks like when they go up against each other. Mm -hmm. So I would say three and a half teams right there. I'm just not going <laughs> to give it to the Bills. Yeah, but you're also the half is the Jets. The half is the Jets because I don't... <laughs> I, they play each other in a couple no, weeks, no, no, so no, no. that'll it's tell fair. me a lot about who the Jets really are. It's fair. There's still games we played, guys, so right. you can still determine this. Right. Michael, do it's, you think that they're the biggest well, challengers? Well, each week, what we're trying to do is ascertain information. That's why we're right. watching the games to see what progress people are making. And I'm going to tell you something. When I watch the Bills, I'm like, whoa. Because we think, naturally, you have lost one of the best receivers in the league, you're going to take a step back. Right. But in losing one of the best receivers in the league, the man... Josh Allen has taken a step forward. He is saying, and, I, and I, I said this last year when I watched it, because I know it made me feel funny as we watching football and everybody, and every time I'm looking at Buffalo, I'm seeing people point to Josh and tell him, think, 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 don't, don't be a dummy, don't make bad mistakes. I know that has to bother him. Mm -hmm. And now it looks like he has taken over this team. And he's saying, this is my team and I'm going to run it. His offense coordinator, Joe Brady, has been his quarterback coach for a while. So now you feel that there's a real completion there. Mm -hmm. When you're going to go up against Patrick Mahomes, you can challenge him, but it's about playing smart late in the games. And when you have sometimes a guy that's so dominant in his personality, like a Josh, like, 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 like a Stephon Diggs, Sometimes you have to play the man instead of the game. Let me give you an example. It's third and three. You're, you're in a tight situation late in the game going against Kansas City. It's third and three. Josh Allen's rolling right. He see a little, he, he sees Stephon Diggs, a titch open running down the sideline, but it's third and three. Make the smart decision, play the game, go get the first down. If you play the man, now you're taking a risk trying to complete that, complete that pass so you're not dealing with the argument on the sideline. And then you just lose that game to Patrick Mahomes. This tells me now that the Bills have a better chance at getting past Kansas City than they did with Stephon Diggs with what I'm seeing out of Josh Allen and how I'm hearing him talk. So, you, so in other words, you're saying Stephon Diggs applied too much pressure on Josh Allen to get him the football in crucial situation when Josh Allen should just take a step back and realize I could do it without Stephon Diggs being involved in this situation. Well, it would be great if Stephon Diggs was involved, but the problem comes in when he gets so demanding that his that that, he, that, that Josh feels he has to find he has to have satisfy him as, as opposed to playing the game. That's where it becomes. I, I, I'm blown away with all the, the back and forth we get in between wide receivers and, and, and quarterbacks. I'm just I'm just I, I don't know. Uh, you, you turn it over. All the great receivers are turning over in their graves on this. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we're seeing a lot of this in the league, mm -hmm. a lot of this in the league, and, and, and we got to figure out something to that. But Josh Allen looks like a whole different quarterback. He looks like he's taking control of this football team, and this gives the Buffalo Bills the best chance. So it's addition by subtraction. If, if that's what you want to call it, that's what they may call it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> see, because it's the growth. Right. It's sometimes... All right, you're, you're, you're riding on the training wheel. You're riding on the training wheel. 
sometimes at some point, you gotta lose those training wheels and learn how to ride the bike. Right. Josh Allen has learned how to ride the bike now. I think the Bills are the biggest challengers to the Chiefs in the AFC. Because I, I would say that it was the Bengals, and we'll get to them in a little bit, but it's not looking like the Bengals this year. And again, I maybe this is my own um, biases, but I trust things that I have seen before until someone proves otherwise. And I've seen the Bills dominate this division year after year after year after year. And, and there, was, again. there was so much question about what they were going to look like this year, not just because they lost Stephon Diggs, but they lost a lot of other pieces right. as well, especially yeah. defensively. Are they going to look the same? Are they going to be challenged and pushed by other teams in the division? Well, the Dolphins are obviously off the table. We never really considered the Patriots to be someone that was going to truly disrupt the division. Maybe they'll steal a game or two and mess up the standings at the end, but they weren't going to push for winning the division. So it was really now between the Bills and Jets, and as you mentioned, we're going to get to see what they look like against each other. But this game with Josh Allen looking the way that he looks is what makes me feel that way. One, because of what Michael just said, he's playing a little bit of a different game. But we talked about this before the season started. What would it take for him to get an MVP this year? We know Josh Allen has turned the ball over at a very high rate. Year after year after year for many different reasons, right. one could argue. But if he's going to be in the MVP conversation and if they're going to win this year, it's going to be because he's going to be playing a different style of ball. And it looks like that's he what we're seeing One turnover, him. one turnover. It's the fewest amount of turnovers he's had in the first three games in, in his career. Yeah. So, and, 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 and when you talk about the first three games, and as I was, you know, I'm, you know I, I'm, I'm paid to give an opinion mm -hmm. and, and try to be as educated as possible on the opinion that I give. When I look at the Buffalo Bills and where they're at, Josh Allen is playing good football. But I also have to factor into the opponents that they played up against. When I look at Arizona spot number 17-3 at home and they come back and get them, then Miami loses to it and they boat race them down in mm -hmm. Miami. Then they get a Jacksonville team that we, at, yeah. at home, that we've been scratching our head trying to figure out. They What's just gave that dude 200 something million dollars. They ain't worth the snot. They can't figure it out. Doug Peterson might be a guy on the, on the, on the firing uh, line at the end of the year. And so I look at the first three games and I say to myself, okay, now what's the next three games look like? Right. The next three games will tell me a lot about the Buffalo Bills because the next three games are the Ravens, the Houston Texans, God, as well as the New York Jets. And guess what? All three of them right. are on the road. Mm. The NFL didn't do them any good, but they did them good if they go out there and they win those games. Yeah. Or even if they go two and one. It, may, it will make me feel a whole lot better about what I'm seeing right. opposed to what I've right. seen, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Right, because no. the difference is, the difference between the Keyshawn Johnson and those other guys that are right here are going to be the pressure moments. In the pressure moments, you got guys that can make plays all game long, but on third and three with the game on the line, you go to the great player, you go to the guy that makes the play under pressure moments. And, and that's what we got to see these guys that Josh Allen playing with now mm -hmm. do. Yeah, and it might end up being Josh Allen, to your point. So Josh yes. Allen passed for four touchdowns last night and is now the MVP favorite ahead of Patrick Mahomes. Is he the MVP and, right now, and is it his to lose? Michael. And, and I love this. When you start looking at Josh Allen, it's not like he has the most yards or whatever, everybody in the league and everything, but I, I think we're seeing that and seeing he's the top guy now because of what we're watching in his decision-making process. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that's growth. Now, I, I would have to throw Sam Darnold in there because I'm ultimately, I measure men in distance travel. Don't tell me where you are. Don't tell me, but tell me where you started. And when you think about where this season started and the thoughts of Sam Darnold even being in that competition, that race, that's a great distance travel. But I certainly got Josh Allen right there with the plays he's making and the decisions he's making. Now, you had Sam Darnold as your MVP before this game yeah. yesterday. And, and, and uh, three. Again, it, we're three games in. No, I know. Right, 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 we're three right, games right, in right. for crying out loud. But this is, as Michael said, this is the producers. They want to. So we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna do we that. We can't keep blaming us on the producers. I first. know. I'm we just giving them a little bit. Talk about. Oh, the good so, ones, we can keep, just keep blaming it on. <laughs> the good ones, that's what they do. They put you in conflict. So if they keep putting us in conflict, they're doing sure. a good job. We have great producers. Here, here, here's, why, here's why, to me, he ticks up a little more than Sam. Just a little bit more based on where they're at. They're both undefeated. Mm -hmm. um, he's, in my opinion, playing with a little less 
offensive talent Josh Allen is mm-hmm. than maybe Sam, especially out on the so perimeter. Because okay. because when you talk about when you talk about Jordan Addison or uh, Jefferson, mm-hmm. I mean like come on, yeah. that that you you out there basically cheating with with Jefferson at the receiver position, where you're trying mm-hmm. to get a, some chemistry with your guys, you're trying to find them and understand them, and they're trying to find you and understand you. So he's approached it this year with no Stephon Diggs at all, and he's still pretty flawless to the to the point where they're 3-0. and So I would tick him up, just a slight tick up. But then I got Sam there. And you can't you can't forget about uh well Saquon dropped that the one the one ball that kind of yeah, most people would say, you know, cost them the game, whatever you want to call it. But he's been playing a dominant performance in the NFC since coming over from the Giants to the Eagles. So I kind of got those three there right now, three games in. Yeah. And I know, I know, I'm missing somebody. Well, but Patrick Mahomes is in it, obviously, and then he's yeah, but he in that they, conversation. He, he gonna shooting. be in it if he they was zero and nine. He'll be in it. Shooting, right. <laughs> he, he automatically hit it, right? And he'll never be. He, yeah, he ain't gonna never not be in it. He'll never be zero and nine with him. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> yeah, Michael. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we're just talking to his greatness. Yeah, his greatness. You'll never be. Well, yeah. I mean, I again, I think him being the number two quarterback in the league helps as well. We've seen him be great year after year after year, and they've had, you know, their playoff But here we go and again. Moments, and now we're back on the Bills. Here we I, go I with the Josh Allen much. MVP conversation look, again. Though. I know, I know, I know, I know. But this year, I do think the narrative also, and look, like, let's not pretend like the story doesn't, doesn't play a part mm-hmm. in the MVP conversation year after year. He did lose one of the top receivers in the league. Right. And we yes. did talk a lot about how are the is the Bills window closed and are they ever going to get over this and are they ever going to break through and how are they going to look without all of these pieces? And there here they are again starting the season 3 and 0 and Josh Allen is looking as good as ever. Moving on to the other game last night, the Bengals fell at home to the Commanders 38 to 33. I just I just Pepto. <laughs> Pepto Bismol. Despite being the largest wow. betting favorite of the week, Cincinnati Started the season with Super Bowl hopes. Now they're 0-3 and dead last uh, in the AFC North. Yeah. Mm, mm. Yeah, that was a tough, tough watch for oh, Bengals man. fans. They Cowboys were, fans. They were too. pretty distraught. Cowboys, Cowboys fans too. too. Yeah, yep, 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 because yep, that boy looks good. That boy, I went out and bought me a thousand bottles of Pepto Big. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm glad they, it's Pepto Bismo, but that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are the a Bengals still contenders? <laughs> no. No, it's over. not at all. It's just a wrap, though. It really is. You hate to, you hate to put the the nail in a coffin and throw dirt on top of them, but it's pretty much over with. Okay, when you when you think about it, I know they've shown us this before. They were started off at 0 and 2. They 0 and 3 now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 2.5 percent has it's made a big it difference. to the playoffs. But think about that. What and I and, and the producers can find it for me and get my ear real quick. How many of those 0 and 3 2. Point, 5% of the teams advance to the AFC or the Super Bowl championship. AFC championship. Yeah, yeah. AFC championship or the Super Bowl. Probably none. So when you got Pittsburgh playing the way they're playing, they only go- they're only going to get better. Mm-hmm. Period. That's just it. They're going to get better. You know the Ravens are going to get better. And as much as you want to kind of poo-poo Cleveland away, they're going to be hanging around and messing things up for somebody along the way. Then when you start to look at the schedule – for the Cincinnati Bengals, they got Carolina, Baltimore, and New York. Carolina looked like a different team with, with, with uh, Andy Dalton at the quarterback position. Yeah. Not saying that they mean anything because it's the Raiders, but they look like a different team. Yeah. We know what the Ravens are. Mm-hmm. And then the Giants, they, they going to fight. So those are your next three games. They're not gimmies. Two of those three, if we looked at it at the beginning of the season, we'd have laughed. We'd be like, oh, Cincinnati getting ready to kill these dudes. That's not the case now. Mm-hmm. So if they drop one of these three, that's four games now. So you're going to be two and four somewhere in there. You, you, your, your numbers just won't add up for you to have enough wins coming out of that division. Yeah, they have had horrible losses. It's not just that they're 0-3. Right. These right. have been really, really bad losses. Like, even, even the score of this game is – and they had some good moments yesterday, yeah. but they lost this game. Yeah. Like, it's, <laughs> that looks like it was closer than it really, really was. Washington felt really in control of that game. There were so right. many mistakes. Um, yeah, he connected, connected with Jamar Chase and, and T. Higgins and got some things going. And I think that 
I think they have, you know, some things that they can work on with Joe Burrow. They can scrape towards a wild card spot, but that's all you're hoping for at this point. You, you, you're fighting for a wild card spot. I, the, the window gets so small when you start talking about who's going to win this division, and then you're talking about who's going to be fighting for those other wild card spots. They're not starting this way. The, they always start slow, and that's a scrape back into it. And that's so much more energy and effort. I, I, okay, you got Carolina next and the Ravens and the Giants, win there. right? That's, 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 that's your next you, 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 you assume, you assume it's a victory. There, but, but, you, you assume that. I don't that. think you can assume it's a victory. That's you know what I'm saying. Michael, like, you got a victory there. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. know. Cincinnati don't have a victory there. And I, and I do think Cincinnati still has a chance. It's just they have to just, they have to just alter their thoughts on how in the road they want to get there. Now, no longer do you think conference, oh, we want to get home field advantage. Well, no. That stuff is out in 0 and 3. What you're thinking now are that you're just thinking division. And you think about those guys ahead of you in this division. Right now, if I'm the Cincinnati Bengals, I'm worried about uh, Baltimore Ravens. Can I beat the Baltimore Ravens? Can I beat the Pittsburgh Steelers? I just got to get ahead of one of those teams. That's the way. That's all I'm thinking about right now. And this week, I'm going to get that first win. Yeah, it, it, they, they had the Chiefs right there on the ropes. They should have won that game. They had a chance at winning that game. The other night, I think we're giving way, way we're, we're putting a whole lot on the Bengals instead of giving enough to Jaden Daniels. Oh, we're going to get there. Yeah, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. I mean, there. in this situation right here, because the, the Bengals mounted great play to come back. But that kid just put his foot on their throat but and see, said, Michael, no, we're not doing but, but, this. But Michael. And, and, and put them away. So I got to give them credit. And I, I think Cincinnati still has a shot. Because once they shot at what, though, Michael? What, was, once you get in the playoffs, we're all back at 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, see, you guys are looking at it and saying, OK, can you get the Super Bowl? Once you get in the playoffs, it's all back at 0-0. Zero, zero. And Joe Burrow, he's, he's the only confident one thinking, I got the number. I got his number. What are you? What? What? Okay. So he still got a shot. All you got to do is get in the dance. What? At getting in the dance. Yes. Yes. And then once he can you get, get in, in the it, dance, I, you're I, the I only one with any success against Patrick Mahomes. Everybody else is scared. I, I, we just watched the coach make bad decisions because he's scared on the sideline. Michael Lee Irvin. I ain't your middle name, but anyway. Um, <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah. They yeah. can still get in the playoffs. That's not the issue, though. The issue ain't getting in the playoffs. It's contending. There's been no team, as my producer just jumped in my ear and right. said, that has ever gotten to a championship game starting off at 0-3. But the deck is stacked against you. All those teams that did get to the playoffs that started 0-3, they went home. Yeah. This yeah. it, it, analytics say. But even this if you're the looking at say. the divisions, well, right? Like, like, like Pittsburgh right? has a huge lead on you in the division. Yes. Right? You're assuming that the Ravens are going to continue to build on, on what they did the other night. Yes. So they ain't going undefeated. No, no, no. But, but they but already they, up three but games they are, on you. They've already got a significant right, right, lead. So right, unless right, they, right, they, they fall off completely. But you're going to play them twice. So you got to challenge. You and you, you're going to play them at the end of the season twice. Yeah. In December, in the first week of January. So now all you got to do... You, you already got, if I'm going to take care of my business for those two games, all I'm seeing now, I got to race one game. I, I'm one game behind Pittsburgh. Do you not see how I see it? Because I'm no, playing them twice. Because no, I'm playing no. them twice. If I'm going to take care of my business those two times, then I'm only so one you game. Telling me, still are you telling me that the Cincinnati Bengals have the ability to go on the road and win? Because win. they're not going to win the division, win. Michael. They're not going to win the division. Okay, but 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 you don't have to win the division to get in the playoffs. Yes, right, right, but right. you're gonna but, but go if you're on the road. For, right. you're, you're never gonna, gonna have a exactly. home game. I'm talking about even getting into the playoffs. Right. Like they can get talking, in when you're talking. They can, but right. but the the wild card spot in the AFC. Man, they're gonna be AFC's second gonna to last, to last in the wild card spot. That's what it's gonna be. They're gonna be the, the dead last. Who are gonna be competing? No, there. I understand that. But if they get in. They're going to be at the cellar. And, and, and let me say this. When they, when they get in, oh, they, now they're going to, boy, they're going to let us in this thing. And that old confident thing of we can always win. We always end up on the winning end. Joe Burrow is that kind of dude. That's what he's been doing. He's been saying he's in Cincinnati. I like, I like him, and too. things are different I, now. I like him, so too. So 0-3 is something, okay, that's a challenge to him. I believe he can get I, it. I, I like him, too. And I yeah, think too, if they too. get rolling and all, that's cool. And they, hey, boy. But yeah. they so far behind the they sticks 
that the climb to the top to get back where they need to be to challenge Kansas City is nowhere in sight. That's what I'm saying, though. You don't have to climb to the top. You just got to get towards the top. You going on the road, though. Division, get to the top of your division, and you worry about that fight in the playoffs. Just get in the playoffs. I am. You ain't never had to go on the road, so don't tell me. I love Joe Burrow (laughs) as as much as anyone. Um, I just. It's so it's, far it's behind, tough, man. So it's tough much. It's, so, it's, it's such tough. a deal. It, it really But But, really I, but, I, but that 2.5% is like, man. so you're saying there's a chance? Right. At 2-5? Right. To get into the playoffs, yes. Well, I want there's y'all a to chance. Hold actually, it. I want y'all to hold it. Actually, like, statistically, they are not eliminated. Hold yes. this. I'm telling you. Oh, my God, hold this. I'm telling you. I, well, I promise you, y'all watch when I'm right. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just Michael. I'm gonna make sure y'all know. You it wrong too. more I'm times than you right. You go, no, no, that's not true. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.